Hey folks, this is Grease Scotsman. Welcome to the Mero SDK installation tutorial. This process has changed significantly from earlier releases. Begin by downloading Unity Hub by visiting unity.com slash download and clicking on the download for Windows button. Once the Unity Hub is installed, you'll be able to enter the following Unity Hub URL into a browser in order to automatically obtain the correct version of Unity. In a web browser, enter unityhub colon slash slash 2021.3.16f1 and press enter. And then accept the prompt that appears confirming that you want to use Unity Hub to handle this type of URL. While installing Unity 2021.3.16f1, be sure to include the following modules. Under Platforms, choose Android SDK and NDK tools and the Open JDK. Further down the list, ensure the Windows Build Support IL2CPP is also added. Once the Unity Editor is installed, use the main Unity Hub window to click the New Project button. If you have multiple Unity versions installed, be sure to select 2021.3.16.f1 from the drop-down menu at the top of the New Project window. Select 3D Core as the type of project to create. Note that this step is different from prior SDK versions. Do not choose 3D URP Core as the project's type. Give your project a name and click Create Project. Once the Unity Editor appears, click the Window menu and open the Project Manager. Within the Project Manager, use the gear icon to select Advanced Project Settings. Under the Scope Registries section, fill out the Name, URL, and Scope fields as follows, using the small plus button to add more entries to the Scopes list. The Name, SLZ, the URL, HTTPS colon slash slash registry dot stress level zero dot com, and scopes com.stresslevel0 com.unity.render-pipeline and com.unity.shadergraph Once complete, click Save. In the Package Manager, switch the Packages drop-down to My Registries. A Stress Level 0 group with three items will appear. Select the Mero SDK and then click Install. This will install all three items as they are dependent on each other. This process will take a bit of time. Once completed, you'll be greeted with a Getting Started window. The window provides a broad overview of the steps needed to create a functional level using the Mero SDK and then packing it for use in BoneLab. If you ever need to refer to the Getting Started info again, it can be reopened from the Stress Level Zero menu. The window also has links to the Lava Gang Discord, where you can ask the community for help if you run into issues. Both the in-editor documentation and online Mero SDK wiki provide a number of in-depth guides, video tutorials, and checklists that will assist with content creation. Welcome to the Mero SDK. The next video, Getting Started with the Mero SDK, will provide an overview of tools and in-editor resources. See you in the void.